So let's say I wanted to find the mean standard deviation variance, etc., from uh, grouped frequency. So what you need to do is go to menu, then scroll down to number six, and one variable. Now, if you don't have that frequency column, I'll show you how to turn it on. You need to go to shift menu, scroll down to statistics number three, and you can turn the frequency on or off. In general, I would keep it on. OK, and uh, it should now stay on um, unless you reset your calculator. OK, so now in the X's, we're going to need to type in the midpoints of the intervals. So from 10 to 20, that would be 15. And then from 20 to 40, that would be 30. 40 to 50, that would be 45. And then 50 to 100 is 75. Now you can see it automatically populates the frequencies as ones. Uh, so we're going to change that to 32, 80, 56, and 63. Now, of course, all of these will be estimates um, because we are assuming that they are evenly spread within the groupings. So that's why we're using the midpoints. So once you've done that, press option number three, one variable calculation. And here we go. So the mean is X bar, which is 43.83116883. Uh, below that is the sum of X and the sum of X squared, which is useful, but uh, not what we're looking for today. Sigma squared is the variance. So sigma squared is 446.6857818. Um, for those doing OCR MEI, uh, this is the mean square deviation. Below that is sigma x, which is the standard deviation, which is 21.1349422. So for MEI, uh, this is the root mean square deviation. Below that is S squared, which is the sample variance. So 448. Oh, sorry, I've just put the S squared there as well. For consistency, 448.627.8938. OK, um, so for MEI, they would just refer that as the variance. But for the rest of us, that's the sample variance. They may also refer it as the sample variance. Um, and then SX, the, the sample standard deviation, is 21.1808.37.89. Okay. Now, what's important is that below this, where it goes into the median and quartiles, uh, this is nonsense. Okay. Um, now, the reason why you cannot use this information is because we've typed in the data as if there were 32 15s, that there were 80 30s, there were 56 45s, and 63 75s. That is how it has calculated the median and quartiles. It has not taken into account that this data is grouped frequency. And so in order to work out the median and quartiles from this data, you would need to use linear interpolation in order to get there. Your calculator cannot find these values for you, unfortunately. So please do not think that you can use these as your answers.